This is John with D4 Guns. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to install a paracord lever wrap on your lever action rifle, shotgun, or anything else that has a lever, I guess. Um, but if you're here at our video, you've purchased our paracord survival cord, I should say, uh, lever wrap. Uh, we'll go into a little bit of the details about the materials that we use here, how to successfully wrap your lever action rifle. Um, some of you might be familiar with some of our other kits as well and some of our products. Check us out, d4guns.com. Um, so before we get started, the type of cordage that we're using here for our project is, uh, and what comes in our kit, is survival cord. And survival cord differs from paracord. It's regular 550 paracord, um, but within it, you have a few additional strands. You have uh, Dyneema 50 pound fishing line, uh, waterproof, red waxed jute tinder, and we also have a um, cotton sewing thread as well. So hopefully you can see that, uh, but we tried to source what we thought was the most superior paracord available on the market uh, for what we're doing for wrapping a lever action firearm. So without further ado, we'll get started. Um, step one, you're going to want to take for a standard size loop lever gun like this Marlin 1894. By the way, this is safe to handle. Um, it's unloaded. Always make sure when you're wrapping your lever gun that uh, it's safe to handle, which means there's no ammunition in it. Um, but you're going to want about four to five feet for a standard size lever loop. Our kit comes with approximately eight feet that will work great for a larger size lever loop. But today on a Winchester or on a Marlin 1894, it's about the same as same size loop as a Winchester 94. Anything that has about this size, I know some of the Browning 22s, Browning lever guns. Um, the, if, if it doesn't have an oversized loop, you're running a standard lever. So that's what we're focusing on the installation today. So first step, you're gonna want to tie a simple overhand knot. Wrap it through the middle, string it through, tie an overhand knot. You're going to want the tag ends to be roughly the same length. So after you get your overhand knot in, you may need to adjust it to make sure that they're approximately the same length. All right. We're pretty close there. And once you have that overhand knot, you're going to want to tuck the overhand knot part on the inside we're gonna want that to stay clean it'll just provide a cleaner looking wrap if you keep that part on the inside not necessary but we'd recommend it so uh, we're gonna proceed with just a simple braid um, if you've never done a paracord braid uh, it's much easier than it looks but you're gonna take one side of it and create a loop and you're gonna take the other end, wrap it over the top of the paracord that you just created the loop with, bring it under, inside of the loop, pull it through the loop that you just created, and you're gonna cinch it tight. And then you're gonna repeat that process on the other side, uh, the opposite side of where you started. So create your loop, bring your the other end opposite end over the top of the paracord through the lever through the loop and you're just going to keep doing that process working your way down the line opposite, uh, braiding each time on the opposite side after you've done it a few times it gets quite easy and we're just going to continue this braiding process all the way down until we get to where we want to stop. So as I'm doing this, just some input in terms of paracord. If you're not familiar with it, paracord 
um, is the cordage used uh, on parachutes for parachute lines. I believe that's where it was first created and um, it's since been repurposed for many different things. But one thing that it's become popular with is anyone camping or in the outdoors or um, preparing for uh, an emergency situation. It's nice having some lightweight, extremely strong cordage to help in the event that um, you, you need it. Um, so the military uses it, but outdoorsmen and uh, those who recreate, especially those who hunt, um, generally carry uh, some paracord with them or some sort of cordage. What I love about this, having it on your lever gun. If you're like me and you hunt and uh, you use a lever gun for your hunting, shout out to all you people out in the cold state of Michigan in the restricted zones uh, where you're limited to straight walled uh, cartridges if you want to shoot with a rifle. It's nice having something to protect your hand in the winter uh, as you cycle it. If you're like me, right before you take a shot on a deer, you don't want to have that big, huge glove on your hand. You got to take that off to even fit it into your lever loop. Um, but putting your tops of your hand on that cold steel, especially when it's negative degrees outside, it isn't always uh, something that you enjoy. But um, besides it protecting your hand, this also, uh, in the event that you needed some cordage, Hauling out a deer, um, maybe you're quartering out um, an elk, and you, you're in a situation where you could use a little extra cord, you've got some attached to your gun that can be easily removed if needed. Um, the other kind of unique thing about this, why we chose to use this survival cord is in the event that you're in a wilderness survival situation, uh, and you got your gun with you, you're gonna have uh, something that's a little easier and waterproof to start a fire with. That waterproof wax jute is fantastic for that. Um, in our tests, when we've used it, uh, about a foot of it will stay ignited for about a minute, or sometimes two minutes, depending on how you have it bundled up. Um, and it's fantastic to know that if you needed to start a fire, you've, you've got some material that's waterproof to help you do it. Um, the, the other cordage that's part of this, the fishing line and um, the cotton sewing, I mean, you can use your imagination in a situation where you might want to use that. So as we're finishing this braid, we're getting down to the end. We're going to make our last uh, braid loop and pull here and I'm going to show you guys how to finish this. So you're going to want to cinch it up, finish, do, do your last braid where you want it, pull it tight as you can. This is where some good sharp scissors come in handy. You're going to want to snip about an eighth of an inch below the braid on each side. And we're going to use a, uh, in this case we're just using a lighter, but you can use a torch or anything that gets hot enough. Uh, we're going to fuse the end of this paracord so it won't unravel. It only takes about 30 seconds. You're just going to want to heat up that edge. You'll see it starting to melt. And then you'll just kind of start to push it towards each other to fuse the end. <clears throat> You'll see that I kind of burned a little bit of the paracord right there. Not a big deal. It's not a bad thing. Um, we don't want it to unravel. And um, having the end kind of fused to the braid a little bit is a good thing in my opinion. So free to get that nice and hot. It fuses, it's not gonna unravel on you. So I'm just gonna go a little bit more here. And that's it.
Let's take it out and have a look. It's a simple, easy to use kit. And it looks fantastic. Protects your hand. Not only does it protect your hand, but it looks really good too. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you are interested in purchasing our kit, um, go on and check us out online on d4guns.com. We also sell a leather wrap kit for standard size lever loops as well as large lever loops. If you're looking for a little more comfort or that Wild West look, um, cowboy action shooters really enjoy these. Those are just a few of our products. Check us out online. You can buy on Amazon. We sell on eBay. We sell on Gun Broker and uh, d4guns.com. Thanks for watching our video.